Here are some words of the major Jewish history of the early Americas called New World Jewry. It's by S.B. Liebman and the American Jewish Historical Society. He wrote about those who owned and manned the ships. Quote, they came with ships carrying African blacks to be sold as slaves. The traffic in slaves was a royal monopoly, and the Jews were often appointed as agents for the crown in their sale. They, the Jews, were the largest ship chandlers in the entire Caribbean region, where the shipping business was mainly a Jewish enterprise. The ships were not only owned by Jews, but were manned by Jewish crews and sailed under the command of Jewish captains. Now here's how I came to discuss the Jewish slave trade on Black Perspectives in the News on PBS. In the late 60s, I became acquainted with a slave trade researcher by the name of Walter White. He wrote a short booklet called Who Brought the Slaves to America? I contacted him and began doing my own research into the slave trade. I read all of the official Jewish histories pertaining to it. I followed the issue for over 25 years now, scanning official Jewish general histories on the subject and often those histories were published by Jewish historical societies and groups. These were histories written by Jews for Jews, and here's some direct quotes from the leading Jewish historians writing about the African slave trade. Prominent Jewish historian Mark Raphael, in his book Jews and Judaism in the United States, a documentary history, wrote, quote, Jewish merchants played a major role in the slave trade. In fact, in all the American colonies, whether French, Martinique, British, or Dutch, Jewish merchants frequently dominated. This was no less true on the North American mainland, where during the 18th century, Jews participated in the triangular trade that brought slaves from Africa to the West Indies and there exchanged them for molasses, which in turn was taken to New England and converted into rum for sale in Africa. Isaac da Costa of Charleston in the 1750s, David Franks of Philadelphia in the 1760s, and Aaron Lopez of Newport in the late 1760s and early 1770s dominated Jewish slave trading on the American continent. Jewish historians record old Jewish documents showing how the slave trade was so thoroughly Jewish that slave auctions throughout the Americas had to close on Jewish holidays. Brazil received far more African slaves in North America. A. Witzner, another official of the Jewish Historical Society, in his book, Jews in Colonial Brazil, pages 72 and 73, wrote, quote, the buyers who appeared at the auctions were almost always Jews, and because of their lack of competitors, they could buy slaves at low prices. If it happened that the date of such an auction fell on a Jewish holiday, the auction had to be postponed. Studying the Jewish histories of the New World, I began to learn of a carefully recorded Jewish history that you and I are not permitted to know about. I discovered that many centuries before the transatlantic slave trade, that Jews had dominated the slave trade in the entire Western world for the last 2,000 years, even as far back as Roman times. Duncan Wagnall's Jewish Encyclopedia, volume 10, page 48, writes, quote, the trade in slavery constituted the main source of livelihood for the Roman Jews. In the 5th century, Pope Gelasius permitted Jews to introduce slaves from Gaul into Italy on the condition that they were non-Christian. In the 8th century, Charlemagne explicitly allowed the Jews to act as intermediaries in the slave trade. In a history of the Jews from Babylonian exile to the end of World War II, published by the Jewish Publication Society of America, the author writes, quote, the Jews were among the most important slave dealers in European society. And here's a quote from the famous Jewish historian Jacob Marcus in the Encyclopedia Britannica. He matter-of-factly talks about the Jewish control of commerce in the Middle Ages. Quote, in the Dark Ages, the commerce of Western Europe was largely in his hand, in particular, the slave trade. Not only were Jews the principal slave traders, they had markedly higher per capita holdings of slaves than did non-Jews. Jacob Marxist wrote in the United States Jewry, 1776-1985, page 586, quote, All through the 18th century to the early 19th, Jews in the North were to own black servants. In 1820, over 75% of the Jewish families in Charleston, Richmond, and Savannah owned slaves. Almost 40% of all Jewish householders in the United States owned one slave or more.
Thank you.